jet ski in Bimini. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Kawasaki is once again the horsepower king, increasing the output of its Ultra Series to an industry-leading 300 horsepower. The source of much of that power is a new Eaton Supercharger, which delivers a more constant flow of air than the previous design and substantially increases boost pressure. Add in a multitude of other engine improvements, along with a new impeller, larger diameter pump, shortened nozzle, and new electric trim, and the end result is a craft that Kawasaki claims is the quickest and fastest PWC in all water conditions. The Ultra Series, however, isn't just about performance. Kawasaki's Croft Long walks us through some of the boat's additional features and improvements. We're here in Bimini. Uh, you can see we've been out riding a little bit on the new Ultra 300X and 300LX. We just tied up here at the dock and I just want to show you a couple of new features about the boat. Of course, it's got some new lines and a new windscreen, so some new styling to really make it stand out and very aggressive look. Uh, for 2011. We got a new reverse lever, very ergonomic pistol grip on this. It's very easy to use. And one of my favorite adjustments uh, for the rider for different conditions is the adjustable handlebar. So we have a five-way adjustable handlebar and that's really good for the sit-down riding or for stand-up riding. New for 2011, we got some really cool features on the Ultra 300X and 300LX. We have Eco Mode, which is this little blue button on the left handlebar switch, which gives you a more economical fuel map, uh, gives you up to 15% better fuel economy, but still retains a very sporty character and, and good power output, although you're not getting full power. We also have a trim where you can trim up and down to set the attitude of the boat for the water conditions or the rider's preference. And over here on the right handlebar, we've got our new cruise control system and 5 mile per hour mode. Uh, this is a very nice feature for both smooth and rough water. And when you're leaving the port, one touch on the blue button here gets you going 5 miles per hour for no wake mode. One of the coolest features about our Ultra 300 and 300, 300X and 300LX are two new models that they actually share with our 250 and 260, the predecessors, is the industry leading massive, massively huge front storage compartment. Let's check it out. When you open the hatch, you have a little storage bucket here where you can keep the things that you might want to get to during the ride. When you pop that out, you have this huge lined storage compartment. So you can carry your towels, your gear, your beach chairs, all of your big goodies that you want, anything, everything that you want. You can carry the groceries, groceries to market in here. Uh, we got a room for carrying all of your gear with you uh, for a full day on the water. So the cool thing on the Ultra uh, series, our Ultra LX, normally aspirated, 300X and 300LX, is you have your choice. You have your smart learning operation, which is the slow key, and you have the full power key. You want the full 300 horsepower, you use this, this bright orange key. You're just uh, beginning or sending a friend out who needs a little bit mellower operation, send them out with the slow key, smart learning operation. But you know, don't forget about the 300LX. This is our new luxury performance model for 2011. You got your 300 horsepower, you got the great stable handling of the Ultra Hull, plus you get some very nice color and graphics, very uh, upscale, rich paint job on this unit, and you have the bolstered seat, what we call the luxury seat, which gives the rider and the passenger at the back a little bit of extra lumbar support, a very connected feeling to the jet ski. I think the biggest surprise to me with the Ultra was the craft's handling. You know, this it's a boat that's always been a great rough water machine, but on calm water it didn't always hook up the best. It had a little bit of a drifting personality as opposed to a really tight carving uh, type of ride. But it, it's a world of difference this year. They've put in 
electronic trim lets you drop that steering nozzle down to help keep the turns tight, to help drop the bow. They've shortened up the steering nozzle to give it a little quicker response. And the result is a boat that's just worlds of difference from the old boat. It handles really sharp, it hooks up aggressively, it carves a buoy course. It, uh, it's just really impressive. I, I didn't expect that kind of handling out of the Ultra. I expected higher horsepower and that was the end of the story. But instead, basically, we got a boat that, you know, yes, it has higher horsepower, but it really has a whole new personality. It's a, it's a sharp, cornering, aggressive machine on flat water, which it really never quite was before. And it's still, you know, the king of rough water. It's a fantastic boat out in the rough stuff.